Back at you, Dr. Diesel here again. I want to talk to you about using a uh, zero to one inch micrometer and the importance of valves and valve guide measurements. No matter how good of oil changes, air cleaners, and everything else you do to maintain your engine, valve guide wear is going to occur. It is an area that is marginally lubricated. It is an area of intense heat from the heat of the head of the head of the valve, right here, the head of the valve that runs red hot. This valve absorbs the heat, goes up into the guide. The guide is water cooled, so a lot of wear is going to happen in this area. Before we talk about the guide, let's talk about the three areas using a micrometer where we should be measuring. We should be measuring in the lower worn area, not the unworn area, but the area that shows a sign of polishing and wear. We should measure it in three different places where these X's show. One in the middle and another at the top of where it is actually wearing. A valve guide wears in a hourglass shape. So the valve fits inside the guide. This is a blown up version of the guide. Thus, it never wears in the center. It always wears at the top and in the bottom. So you're gonna take three measurements with your micrometer. In these three measurements, this one's gonna be like 375 thousandths or 371 thousandths, somewhere between those two ranges. This one may be 374, this one may be 374. So we would take our reading in the center, which is the unworn area. We would take our larger numbers up here, which would be like 0 0.374, 374 thousandths of an inch. We would subtract the two, and that would be three thousandths of an inch, where we would have three thousandths of an inch where. When this valve, when the rocker arm opens a valve, it puts pressure right here, and there's a spring and retainer on here too, and it pushes it like this. Something to do with machining and, and machinists that we always have to be aware of in the automotive and diesel area is this is a specification that's very important that cannot be too small. We have to allow for heat expansion of our valves. So on an ASC test question, I've seen on multiple, multiple engine automotive and diesel tests, they said if the valve guide is too worn, that can blow the engine up quicker. Technician B says if the valve guide is too tight, that can blow up the engine quicker. A valve guide that is too tight, we don't have enough clearance in here for the expansion of the valve to take place, will either stay closed and break the rocker arm and cam, or will hold open and the valve and piston will come in contact with one another. When that happens, a catastrophic mm -hmm. explosion occurs. So this is a measurement that you've got to get right that cannot be below the minimum specification, which is about a thousandths and a half to two thousandths, exhaust being a little bit more. Exhaust on diesels are about three thousandths of an inch for heat expansion. 